Hi everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Ashley and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today I have just a kind of simple what sold video for my sales for the past week. So that was September 5th to September 11th. And during this period I had 41 sales and I have total sales of $845. So let's just get right into it. First on the 5th, I sold um, this eBay, wait, <laughs> oh my god, I sold eBay. First, on the 5th, I sold this Vans Off The Wall Orange Floral Graphic Tee, and that sold for $12 minus my cost of goods, which is $1, so that left me with a profit of about $11, um, less eBay fees, which I didn't take out of my numbers because... I'm lazy and it's complicated to look all of that up and calculate it, but so just estimate, you know, like a couple dollars for every eBay fee. Um, and then next, I sold Anthropology Saturday Sunday Yale Casual Dress, and I've had this dress forever. I picked it up and didn't realize there was a stain on it, so honestly I was just happy to get rid of it. Um, I sold that for $7. Um, I got to keep 405 after Poshmark fees, and my cost of goods was about a dollar, so I made 305 on that. And then last on the fifth um, was this J. Jill Velvet Velour jacket, and then I put in shacket as a keyword because I know that's kind of in style. Um, top, and that sold for twenty dollars on Poshmark, so I got sixteen dollars, and my cost of goods was zero because this was given to me. Um, so I made 16 in profit. And then moving on to the 6th. First on Mercari, I sold this pair of Frame Flair de Francois high rise jeans. Um, now this pair was actually cut shorter, so it had a raw hem. It wasn't like their um, original pair. Uh, but um, those still sold for $44. So I get $38.02. Um, and my cost of goods was $11.25, so I made $26.77 on those. And then the next thing I sold over on Poshmark was this bundle of Project Social Tea Urban Outfitters Ribbed Plunge Lace-Up Top and this pair of Express Lace-Up Ankle Super High-Rise Jeans. So lots of lace-up in that one. Um, and that bundle sold for $20.00. Um, minus the Poshmark fee and my shipping discount that I gave them. So I got $13.54, which wasn't very much, but it was fine because I only picked those items up for $2.50. So I made $11.04 on those. And then next on Poshmark was this vintage 80s, 90s um, bomber style wool plaid jacket. Uh, and this sold for $10. I got $7.05, minus my cost of goods was $4.60 whatever I wrote there, <laughs> uh, 60 something. So I only got made $2.40 on this, but I had this item for a really long time. So I just wanted to get rid of it and make a little bit of profit. Um, and then next, I sold this pair of American Eagle Tom Girl Button Fly Dark Wash Jeans. Those sold for $14, um, so I got $11.05 minus $1.60 as my cost of goods. So I made $9.45 on those. And then I sold this J. Crew Collection Velvet Silver Wrap Midi Dress. This dress was so pretty, but it had a big stain, like a significant stain, but I still picked it up because I found it at the bins. Um, so I only sold it for $20. I think I could have gotten like 40 ish if it hadn't been so stained. Um, but I sold it for 20, so I get 16 minus a dollar cost of goods, so I made $15. And then uh, over on eBay, I sold this vintage um, 80s style floral little romper, and that sold for $12 minus a dollar cost of goods, so I made $11. And then I sold this Butter Fleece, um, it's like Sahali was the brand, I've never really heard of it, but it was super soft um, top. And that sold for $10, and that was given to me for free, uh, so that was pure profit. And then last, on the 6th, I sold, I hope I told you guys, yeah, I said moving on to the 6th. Okay, last was this vintage denim jacket, and it was like this oversized, and I put 
shack it again as a keyword um, and that sold for $20 I got it for free so once again pure profit now moving on to the seventh first I sold this anthropology raga brand and it was a maxi dress um, that sold for $30 so I got $25.83 uh, and my cost of goods was only a dollar, so I made um, $24.83. And then next, I sold this pair of New With Tags American Eagle plus size favorite boyfriend jeans. I picked these up at the TJ Maxx clearance sale. Um, so I made. Once I find it. Um, I made $20 um, minus $6 for my cost of goods, so I made $14. And then I sold this vintage Disneyland cropped graphic sweatshirt, um, and that sold for and that sold for twenty dollars minus a dollar cost of goods, so I made nineteen. And then I sold a vintage retro plaid brown white tan tank dress. That item sold for ten dollars, so I got seven oh five um, minus a seventy seven cents cost of goods, so I made six twenty eight. And then I sold this pair of New With Tags Express High Rise Cropped Bell Flare Jeans. And I picked these up at Plato's Closet during their like 90% off clearance event. I found a lot of pretty good jeans there. Um, but they sold for $17, so I got $13.60 minus $1.70 cost of goods, so I made $11.90. Then I sold this orange cashmere sweater. Um, cashmere seems is is doing like really well for me. Like cashmere things are selling pretty fast and pretty consistently so I would say if you find cashmere in like pretty much any brand, some of these didn't even have a brand, I'd, I'd pick it up. Um, so anyway, that item sold for $25. It was a dollar cost of goods so I made $24. And then next, this was an awesome bin spine. So this was a Ralph Lauren black label which is their more expensive label. 100% um, cashmere black um, maxi dress. So this was such a cool piece. Um, and that sold for $125. And I picked it up for only $0.77 because it was at the Google outlet. So I made $124.23. Moving on to the 8th, I had 8 sales on the 8th. So first was this Harley Davidson um, Y2K 90s leopard tank top. Uh, and that sold for $28. I get $24.09 and my cost of goods was $0.77, cents, so I made $23.32. Next, over on Poshmark, was this pair of Frame Alley Wide Leg Crop Jeans and they were high rise. I honestly wanted more for these, but they just weren't moving that well, so I sold them for $27. Um, so I make $21.60 and I picked them up for $6, so I got $15.60. Next was this unique vintage 1920s style beaded flapper dress. This sold for $30, so I get $24 and my cost of goods was $12, so I made $12. Next was a, so this was a Nordstrom Rack sale pickup, uh, and this was New Tags Reese brand Phoenix Floral Blouse. Um, and that sold for $65. I picked it up for $28.11, so my profit was $36.89. Following that, I sold this pair of retro flare Y2K boho high rise high waisted floral embroidered jeans. Um, and those sold for $15. They weren't any like known brand and they didn't feel that good quality. Um, so I was totally fine with letting them go for $15. I just picked them up because I thought they were really cute. Um, but they sold for $15 minus the dollar cost of goods, so I made $14. And then after that was this Free People Intimately Crochet Lace Trim Midi Slip Dress in white. And that also sold for $15 um, minus another dollar cost of goods, so I made $14 once again. And then I sold this pair of Tory Burch wedges, which they were not in great condition, um, but they were from the bins, and they were $2.99, they were Tory Burch, so I figured they would sell, and they sold super fast, so I was fine with that. Um, so I got $12 minus $2.99, so I made $9.01. And then last, I sold this Free People New Romantics Linen Blend Cold Shoulder Blouse. 
and that sold for $12. My cost of goods was $1.20 because I got it from Plato's Closet on their clearance sale once again. So I made $10.80. Moving on to the 9th, I had three sales on the 9th. First, this pair of Dansko clogs. These were another pair of shoes that I picked them up because I knew they were a good brand and they were a pretty good style, um, but the condition just wasn't great. They were very faded, um, but you know, maybe someone wanted like a more faded style blue. If you wanted like a more worn in look, it could totally work. Um, but they sold for $25. Um, my cost of goods was $2.99 and I got $21.47, so my profit was $18.48. And then I sold this Urban Outfitters floral embroidered sweatshirt, um, and that sold for $12. I got $9.05, minus $0.77 cents cost of goods, so I made $8.28. And finally, this J. Crew Crew Cuts little denim skirt, um, that sold for $5, minus an $0.80 cents cost of goods, so $4.20. And now moving on to the 10th, first I sold this Free People with love baby doll lace floral dress this was so pretty but it was missing a button which was really unfortunate um, but it sold for $28 I got $24.09 and I picked this up at Plato's Closet for 11 but I also consigned some things that day so I didn't honestly really I paid like six dollars for everything I got um, so it was probably actually you know it wasn't as much of a cost to me I kind of traded some older inventory in um, but I made $13.09 total, and then I sold this Fry Steff, Steff, why do I always want to say Steffi, um, Steffi boot, uh, and that sold for $25. I normally want a little more for Fry boots, but when I looked up this exact style, or not just a little more, I've, I've sold like a lot of Fry boots, like $60 to $80, so Fry is a great brand to pick up. Um, but this particular pair, the style was not selling that high. There were a lot of like $25, $30 solds. Um, so I was fine with $25 for those. So I got $20 and my cost of goods was $2.99. So I made $17.01. Then I sold this Torrid bra. Um, and that was a size 40C. And it was just plain black wireless bra. Um, and that sold for $15, so I get $12 minus $0.94 cents cost of goods, so I made $11.06. And then I had this pair of Sam Edelman Penny Gray Leather Tall Riding Boots. Um, and they sold for $20 minus $2.99 cost of goods, so I made $17.01. And I had those for a long time, like probably almost a year. Um, so I was really happy to get rid of them, and that was totally fine with me. Um, and then next, I sold this Torrid Side Zip um, Plus Size Sweater with Faux Leather Trim. And that sold for $15 minus a $1 cost of goods, so $14. After that, I sold this Intimately Free People Strappy Purple Pink Bra Bralette. Um, that sold for $6 minus a $1 cost of goods, so $5 is my profit. And then I sold this kind of, um, it was like an eBay bundle I guess. Um, same person bought both of these and they were two Lululemon tank tops. One was the um, Running in the City tank top in white. This one was really cute. It had like mesh details and everything. Um, and then the other one was, I, I couldn't find the exact style name. It was just a tank top that was black with a built-in bra. Um, also very cute. It was like slightly sheer black material. Um, but those sold for $45 total, and my cost of goods was only $2. Um, I got them at the yard sale, actually. So I made $43 on that. And then I sold this Urban Outfitters Silence Plus Noise Lace Up Purple Dress. Um, and this I've had for a long time. So it only sold for $5, minus a $1 cost of goods, so I made 4 And then on the 11th, which is the last day in this week, I sold this Lulu's um, all My Wisdom Charcoal Ribbed Wrap Dress, um, and that sold for $20, uh, so I got $16 minus a $1 cost of goods, so I made $15. And then next was this Allen Sully Cashmere, once again, 100% Cashmere Tan Knit Sweater, and that sold for $20 minus my $1 cost of goods, so I made $19. And then I sold this Free People Beach Summer Tie-Dye Boho Tank Top, um, and that sold for $12 minus a $1 cost of goods, so I made 11 
And then my final sale was this Anthropology Meadow Rue bland, bland? <laughs> Meadow Rue brand Rutched Rutched? Is that how you say that? I don't like that word. Rutched Rutched lace top shirt blouse. Um and that sold for $12, um, minus 94 cent cost of goods, so that was $11.06 in profit. And that was all my sales for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of content and you want to see more. Please remember to like and subscribe and check me out on social media at Attire by Ash. But I hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye!